Hey guys, what's up? It's episode 9 of Bachelor at Weekend. Nicole has a secret lover. There's a mother-in-law invited to the party. And what's Liz been up to? We're going to talk about it right now. You're tuned in to After Buzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz begin. because someone went bye 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 and we're gonna talk all about that <laughs> right now we're super excited this is the episode before the finale Sadness. Caroline and I are real excited to get going so I'll just introduce myself I am Sarah Serio and I'm Caroline Bear yay introductions we're staying we're not leaving no 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 um Caroline thoughts of this episode Holy, Overall. holy juicy. That is the word that I sent when we were talking about this over text. I was like, this episode is juicy From with a capital J because Liz is a what, feisty li- person. I, I don't know. I feel like the tensions were very, very, very high with Robbie and Liz, and I'm not really sure, like, if I'm Team Liz or Team Robbie. Yeah. But I definitely thought that this was an episode where we really saw these people for their true colors. I agree. <laughs> um, and also the Bachelorette, like, squad was just... A lot. A lot. So much to handle. Um, but we're going to start off with Nicole, who I don't think really has changed from the beginning. I think she's always stayed the same and true to her colors. Yeah. Nicole... Has a secret admirer. Ooh. She had roses on her desk, which like who doesn't want that? But it's like, does Red that roses. really happen in real life? Yeah. And the sign in the little card was D. Like now, we don't know what that stood for at the time. We and now get know. your head out of a gutter, everyone. Well, they kept referring to it as that, which was pretty funny. I'm not gonna yeah, lie. Yeah, I was laughing really. And hard. I kind of liked. Well, she thought that it was Donald from that. That god awful date. Date she went on like so many episodes ago, and I'm like, no way. Did you have any predictions of who you thought it was from the roses from the get go? I should have known who it was because of the way the show started, but we'll mm-hmm. get to that. So no, I had literally no idea. I yeah. was so confused because I wasn't thinking they were going to introduce somebody new onto the show like as it was ending. You know what I mean? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So I had no idea who it was. Anyway, but- she got. She got many more gifts throughout the episode. She got a bear, a teddy bear, when they were setting up the house for The Bachelor. And then later on, when they had their meeting at the end, like they always do, she got fried chicken delivered and whiskey. Which at that point, I was like, that's a they little know weird her. that they're letting some person in to deliver this. Oh, I thought that was like. So I was like, mm, that's when my radar started tingling. Really? I thought that just meant it, the person definitely knew her because mm-hmm. those seem like her staples. Yeah. Fried chicken and whiskey. But I think Nicole secretively really liked it, which I feel like anyone would because it's mean, like yeah. giving you your attention. Unless it's a stalker. God, that's scary to think about. But a lover to, or a stalker. Anyways, on to. On to the meaty part. It's just, this is just like a little what you're going to get for now. Liz, we're told, has an interview with another company called Glow. Glow. It's a beauty company. <laughs> it's a startup. Um, and she has an interview 8 p.m. Th- in the eve of that day that it was. <laughs> I'm not explaining that well all right, at all. All right, I'll take it over here. So basically Liz has an interview with a startup called Glow. <laughs> and she is, she is um, interviewing, uh, let's call it Monday night. Robbie calls the whole staff in, Mm -hmm. says, we're going to do some team bonding because we suck right now. Guess what time it is? It's tonight at the same time as your interview. Liz is like, "Uh uh-oh, what am I going to do? Asks Nicole to lie for her, which I thought was such a shady thing to do, especially when you're you're friends with that person. You're putting them in the most uncomfortable situation. Mm -hmm. 
Do you I agree think with, so? No, I do agree with you. I also feel like, you know, if you're in that position and you already knew, just to not make it uncomfortable and not make it, like, seem any more suspicious, at that moment he says that, you just got to come up with something. Because if you, like, wait it out like she did, it yeah. makes it seem so unrealistic. It seems so sketchy, So if at yeah. the time she was like, oh, like, I have, I'm going on a, like, we're going on a date, me and my boyfriend, because they don't get to see each other a lot. Or, or like, I have. She could have said she was sick then. Like, an appointment. I, I, I'm really feeling not well. Because I will say to Liz's credit, that's so not fair for your boss to be like, oh, team bonding exercise, day of, in an hour and a half. And Liz did specify that. So I feel like if she did say something right away, it would have been yeah. okay. But it's the fact that she did it and she left it up to Nicole. And that's not something that you should... Because I feel like Nicole was super caught. And when they were actually, well, their team bonding was those escape rooms, which are so much fun. I've never done one. Oh, and it's on my bucket list. I want to do one so they're, badly. They're really, the one that they did seemed pretty, the one that I did was super, like, easy. Like, they did it themselves, like, made everything. Like, it wasn't that. But it was really cool. Like, it was really neat. And I thought it was really good for them because you really could tell that they don't work that well as a team. And I just also... And Robbie is like, why isn't this work? Why aren't you guys succeeding? It's like, dude, what are you doing? You're just like wandering that around. That was what I was saying to... I literally wrote down and I... Do, oh, I said, Robbie totally is not helping in this escape room. He's all like, this is why you guys don't work well together. And this is why I always have to come in and save the day. And I was like, dude, you're a part of the company just as much as they are. If not so, more so. I don't understand what you're saying right now because it makes no sense. He just like was like a little troll like going around. Yeah. I didn't like it. Anyways... They didn't win, or they didn't escape. Yeah, they didn't escape in the 60 minutes, which just goes to show you they need a little bit more help as a team. Meanwhile, Liz is having her interview, and it's going great. It's going great. And oh. she's feeling appreciated. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the beginning of the episode, and we're going to get into what really this is all about, The Bachelorette. But before we do, we just want to say thank you so much for listening and tuning in. Please like, comment, and subscribe, not only on this channel, but other ones that AfterBuzz has to offer. We love hearing from you guys. We'll shout you out. Your other shows that you watch will shout you out. We appreciate it. So go like and subscribe and comment. Thanks. And a very exciting addition is that we are now found on Spotify. So <gasps> if you're driving, um, you can listen to us on the most probably listened to streamed music network. Whatever. That's good to know. Yeah. You didn't listen, know that? No, listen up. Oh, well, listen up. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, let's so get to this So we had Bachelorette ride. Jenna. Woo! 23 from California. Marrying. Been with a guy for the past eight years. Eight years. High school sweethearts, which I've been told is the hardest because it's like, you know, you're a totally different person in high school. So you guys have to like grow yeah. together. So, I mean, you know, good for them. is so young. But what I found a little interesting is not her mom, which I don't know why, but her mother-in-law and two aunts. His was it his aunt? I all I it thought says, it was his. Yeah, no, it was two aunts like of his. Yeah, mm -hmm. were coming to Nashville with them. I just want to know from you guys if you would be okay with that or if that's just a hard no because I don't we think anyone about really addressed week. it. Yeah, um, age is but a number, you know, yeah. but I'm not really sure how I would feel about seeing my future mother-in-law getting on a table and dancing. That's just me. I mean, to be honest, I don't think they got as crunk as I thought they were, uh, but they were having a great time and were taking shots back like champs, so I'm just going to say that. I don't know, that. there are a couple of pans to the moms and they were, they were looking a little bit worse for wear. Mm -hmm. They were looking a little tips. But I, I thought the house that they got, the houses just keep getting Gorgeous. better and better. And the decorations. I, I was going to say that to you because one of her things. The bubbly bar. Yeah, one of her, one of her like special requests she wanted was to have upscale Classy, decorations. Yeah, decorations. And when they said that, I literally thought of you and I thought we've always said it. And I was like, wow, this is either going to be a challenge it's for them. It's a make or break. Or maybe they like get another, a higher budgeted package or something. 
You know what I mean? Well, because that, I thought the decorations were like above from their you know, party city deck so decor. So much better. And it seemed like something that they could do to any any of the parties though that we've seen. I loved the um the bubbly bar. It spelled out bubbly and it had the champagne mm-hmm. bottle it and cute. it was just really well decorated. Mm-hmm. I loved it. I loved it, loved it, loved it. A plus. A plus. They were And the house was gorgeous. Yeah. They were lit from the get-go from when they got there because they said they started drinking around like 6.30 a.m. or something. And then... How do you do that? Nicole let them know that they had dinner at 8 for a drag show and dinner, which seems so much fun. And it was like a drag show of all the like greats. So Whitney, Madonna, Miley. Miley Miley in her twerking costume. I know. I loved it. That was a lot. So they got there. Of course, they loved JJ. He was all up in their business taking pictures of them. They enjoyed it. He enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, And then she has this one gentleman. (laughs) What was his name? John. John. Oh, John. He was way too much for me. Way too much. I understand. He was having a good time. He had a lot to drink. I thought he was pretty tame-ish. And then when the show was finished and everyone's like partying after the show in this location, he I saw it all happening. He's up on the table twerking, Not shaking Not only was he it. on the table, but he was like backing himself up into the table yeah. that had several glasses on I it. I know. And... This was not a private party. No. There were many and many other guests. Mm-hmm. And, like, we got it. You've had, like, he said the next morning, I think I had 16 shots, mm-hmm. which is absurd. Oh, that was the other thing. She only wanted tequila and champagne and rosé. Mm-hmm. So they were throwing back the tequila shots. They were. He just took a tumble. He took a tumble. And you saw it happening. And everyone, like, obviously went His over to him. His head literally smacked the table. Make sure he was okay. He was okay, thank God. I don't think he probably n- knew what happened. No idea what happened. I mean, the kid got a $1 bill and started using it to blot his lip. Uh-huh, that was Because he, like, cut his lip. That was He gross. was using, was honestly like Caroline so said, a dollar bill. But he was putting it on his nose. Because I think he thought he, like, his nose was bleeding. No, he was he was just putting it all over his face. I'm like, do you know how many germs yeah. are on that dollar bill? Just like thought. Yeah. I mean, grab a napkin. Totally okay. unsanitary. And after that, I think they realized the night needed to come to an end. But before they left, John Johnny Boy had one more tumble. He took a tumble, broke some glasses. They had a great day. And the next day, they woke up at like 11 a.m. looking rough. Rough is an understatement. Like, nobody <laughs> looked good. The no fact, one looked though, well. that they go right back to the bubbly bar to drink Thank champagne. You. Thank it's you. It's like, guys, you need water. You need to have those IV, like that one, those one people did, get some, get it going back in your body. But yeah. they were like, no, before food, we need champagne. I was like, no, guys, you I mean, have the, this there's backwards. I the, mean, there's the hair of the dog saying, and also they were like, oh, well, we're already hungover. The only way to get unhungover is to keep drinking. But I don't agree with that mentality, and I'm not sure um, it was a good idea. But yeah. that, because then they went to the pedal tavern. They went to the pedal tavern, which seemed fun, but then at the end it resulted in some throw up. Yeah, so it, it was actually kind of funny to watch um, yeah. behind the scenes the bride just like go completely um, horizontal mm-hmm. and like puke, whatever. Yeah. They had a good time, and then their last night they went to FGL House. They had a private table. Robbie was there. Robbie was getting it on with the moms. At least they had him. That's why they hired him. Everyone has Gosh. a reason of why, like, you know, they're at their job, and that's his. Yeah, to get along again, with the like, older, the older women. The older, the older ladies. I thought it was really cute that she wore white and everyone else wore black yeah. in the party. Um, yeah. I thought that was cute, and it made for good pictures. Mm-hmm. I did think JJ did a good job yeah. with stepping up because I think, I think he knows when to do it for the right group. But I think Jenna and her peeps had a great time. I think they did too. And, and then, they had the pink limo, which was just the most oh, extra thing yeah, I've, I've ever seen in my that. entire life. But fit them perfectly. 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 
I would not expect, first of all, I didn't really know pink limos actually existed, Mm -hmm. but shout out to uh, Liz and Nicole who probably planned that. I loved loved it. So anyways. Their weekend came to an end. We get back into batch weekend territory and Liz gets a phone call. She goes, she steps outside and Glow is on the other line informing her that Liz has got the job at Glow. Liz then says that she needs to (laughs) um, make sure that everything is okay with her current situation before she says yes or makes anything final. Goes back inside. They have their meeting like they always do at the end of any weekend. Seems to be going well. Seems to be okay. They're going over like what they think of the weekend, how they could have improved, if anything went wrong. And everything seemed great. And then Robbie was like, oh, but they had this one last complaint or something went awry and everyone's like what like what could have happened what could and at that moment I was like yeah there's definitely something up I know it's going to be like something shady but I had no idea what was coming next yeah so then Robbie turned his laptop to show pictures because he said they had picture proof shows pictures there's Robbie and JJ with red roses laying all over the teddy bear so did you think it was them did you have any inkling no. Yeah, neither did I. And what I was, what I always have said in past episodes, you can go and fact check me. It's there. I always bring up what they show in the preview mm-hmm. in the beginning. And they showed that the- Liz and Nicole had been pranking mm-hmm. Robbie and JJ. Yeah. So they were like, oh, let's get Nicole back. And I thought they did a good job. But kind of jokes on them because she loved it. Like, why? She loved it. She got it. roses, she got- free food and alcohol, mm-hmm. and a huge teddy bear to cuddle with. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. I, I thought that that was kind of ridiculous that they didn't, or that they thought that was okay. And of course, Robbie just had to get one little dig in at Liz. I know. Which I really, you know, Robbie, you are the CEO of the company. And I think that dig at Liz was really inappropriate and could have been done with her privately. Or could have just maybe not been a dig and just you say like, hey, why didn't you show off? Like you seem a little off. I just think it's uncomfortable to have those conversations with all the other employees yeah. of the company there. So, uh, anyways, Liz goes into his office. Yeah. Oh, wait, but they got five stars. Oh. They ended up getting five stars. Congrats. <laughs> Congrats. <laughs> I mean, you could have told. And then this was actually the first time that I knew that JJ was going to win the bonus. Yeah. Because I, mean, I was like, I get it. You you stepped up in the sense of you realized that this party really wanted their pictures taken all the time, and you did it. So, congratulations. You deserve it. But yes, like Caroline was saying, Liz, because of what Robbie said during the meeting in front of everyone, was just like the straw that broke the camel's back. She walks in. She's like, Robbie, I need to talk to you. Walks into his office. The best line. It was like a t- out of t- perfect out of TV moment. Why am I here, Robbie? Why am I here? Mm-hmm. Good question. And that was that. And then yes. formal resignation letter. Mm-hmm. What did you think? Were you shocked? Did you actually think she was going to quit? I did. I did. I thought, I think she, but she owns it. I think she's always owned that she has this, like, combative personality, which in that moment you can see how that's obviously heightened, and she's going to be angry and fight for herself and not really see eye to eye and be super, like, level-headed, which I totally understand because I feel like things that she's being, they're just have a huge miscommunication, like, issue. And Robbie yeah. needs to realize that it comes from him, in It a comes sense. from all of them. Honestly, I was everyone, so over yes. the way that Liz was acting entitled. And I was over the fact that Robbie has literally no way of communicating and thinks, therefore, it's other people's fault and doesn't take any responsibility. I think that Liz had a right to quit. Yo, I'm going on a rant right now. But I also think that Liz... You know, to Robbie's credit, he was like, you should really think about what you're doing because you have a stake in the company, like we've been saying since the beginning. Oh, and also, we should add, where the F is Taylor? 
I know the they investor. were they were con- they didn't know where Taylor was. They were like, well, Rachel was like, it's been just like a few days, and you always have to play that waiting game, which is awful. But it's like, yeah, the investor hadn't gotten in touch with Robbie or Not Batch Weekend, sign. so it's like, what was going to happen? Basically, Not that was sign. episode nine. We should do predictions real fast. <laughs> And now, your After Buzz TV predictions. So, guys, next week is the last episode. episode. It's the finale of Batch Weekend. No. We've had lots of fun. We've had so much fun. I think that, you know, the next group looks like an actual party and a half. Yes. Um, They look really great. I'm excited that it's a bachelor party. Mm -hmm. Um, Those are always fun. I don't know. I just, again, I've said this every week for the past, like, five weeks. All the episodes at the end of the season have been better than the beginning, so. I know, so it just keeps getting better. So I hope it goes off with a bang, and I just want to see what Liz, her final Like, are we going to see her in the next episode? That's my question. We'll have to wait and find out. Yay! Thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate it. You can follow me at S Serio for so much fun. We love hearing from you. So, like I said, comment, subscribe, like. And you can find me, Caroline Thayer, at Caroline J Thayer on all social media platforms. Thank you so much, guys, and we'll see you soon. Bye! Bye. Our founder, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and me, Maria Menunos, would like to thank you for tuning in to AfterBuzz TV. Remember, we're not just the first, we're the biggest in the world, and we're the only destination for all your favorite TV shows. Whatever you crave, we've got it. So go to AfterBuzzTV.com and check out our lineup. Buzz you later. <laughs> the views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.